the thing about Rubble here is that when I used to play it, I used to think it was just pretty good. Like, you know, nothing too spectacular, but a fun time. Uh, having replayed it a few times recently, though, I gotta say, this might actually be uh, my favorite Opposing Force uh, Deathmatch map. Which is funny because, you know, like I said, I, I used to always just kind of put it away. But I think it's just the flow and, like, the way the items are placed out and stuff like that. There's just a lot of good times, good mischief, you know, stuff like that. I haven't mentioned mischief on these videos for a while. So, you know, th there's that. Uh, this was done by Tom Mustaine, who you also remember did Paradox Park. And if you want a listing of some of his other credentials in the game industry, uh, I suggest you go watch that video. Uh, but, yeah, he I think he actually... Despite it looking a lot more in line with the game, unlike his other map, or I mean, I guess the the setting of the single player anyway, um, I think in terms of like you know just design, I think it really plays to his strengths. Um, I, I swear I played some Doom maps by him before, and he always had that good kind of good feeling of making the map kind of how it flows around, despite being complicated. It all kind of comes together, but you know maybe I'm thinking of the wrong map, so take that. Take that with a huge grain of salt. Anyway, what the hell am I doing? Let's just go. Gotta be honest, I don't know why he called it rubble, though, because there's actually only one area of the map with rubble in it. I would have called it, like, tears, or, I don't know, ring, or flying ass juice to central. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna start with the actual part that is rubble. That, that's it. This is the rubble. Wh wh why did you call it that? Why did you call it that? Okay, no, anyway, um... But yeah, anyway, so if he's starting there, uh, obviously there's a gauze over the bottomless pit, and you know, you don't want to fall down there because, you know, that happens. If you're brave, jump over that and grab it, though, right there. And across from that, you got the uh, spore launcher, so this area is actually kind of important. Uh, you can also grab this one, too, so if you're scared and you have the barnacle, you can also, like, you know... Did that... You sad sap. Anyway, go over here... There's some goodies over here, like a charger. And that's the thing about this map, is that it looks like it's gonna be, like, you know, you're gonna be stuck on the bottom and you have to work your way up, but there's actually a lot of ladders and just various different ways to get around to the other parts of the map. I mean, obviously, you could use the gauze here, the gauze jump up if you really wanted to. You get the long jump here. And there's actually a few goodies on here. Now, it's a little bit challenging, but, you know, you gotta just jump. Can't really jump like outside of just you know you got to do it right at the end because you're permanently ducked i'd like to see what this looks like from third person but it'll, oh well anyway that's how you can get up to the next floor we'll, we'll talk about the rest of the floors later so let's go over here if you come back this way uh this corridor here and that's something that's kind of unique or like you know kind of the defining thing about this map is that there's a lot of open really open areas like this combined with like the, those corridors that are really closed in with a lot of really dangerous weaponry put in them so it creates a nice feel, and it adds to that flow thing I brought up, where it's like, you know, you, you gotta go through the corridors, and like, when you go through the corridors, a lot of shilly shenanigans are gonna be going on. I just, there's no reason for me to kill heavy weapons guy there. I mean, he was trying to be the heavy weapons guy, but you know, this isn't quite a minigun. Anyway, this is stupid. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's hard to explain, but it basically, because, you know, there's gonna be a lot of, like, crazy shenanigans going on in the hallway, and then when you come out into the open here, you think you're gonna get a breather. But the shenanigans continue, but now from a distance. It just, it plays really good. It's just nice to play. It's a, it's just one of those maps that it just feels good, you know? The flow of it and, like, the way the weapons are placed. Stuff like that. So you can get a wrench up here. Um, you know, it's fun to, like, you know, stick around in this corridor and just bash people as they walk through. Although, be careful they don't have something far stronger than, than you, like, that. Which they probably do. Anyway, if you come this way, you get a health charger here. You can also get this little corridor. You can't really hide, but you can actually... You can kind of wait here. Actually, you know what? This is a pretty decent hiding spot. I've just never really thought to do that. Um, come over here. Like I said, re really open. This is probably the most open part of the map. You got this baller little spot where if you're, like, going to be sneaky, you can actually start sniping people from afar. You know, just like a jack-in-the-box. But you got to be carefully going to do that because someone's going to be probably sending explosives your way at some point. Speaking of that, you got some rocket launcher ammo there. And now, again, you get a choice of where you want to go with the tiers here. Now, the interesting thing is that it is actually a little bit split here. Um, like, they do actually rat, what, what, rat back to each other on the other side. But you have to actually go to the other side. Uh, we'll talk about this way first, though. Because that leads into the final tier. Um, if you want to wrap around first, you come this way. And I like the lighting here. Um, just like the way these little, like, light cubes and stuff like that. 
Um, you know, they kind of come around. They look like that one part of Hot Shelter and, like, you know, Sonic Adventure. There's a very specific reference for you! Haha! <laughs> anyway, um, you come back to here where you can get the long jump area. Get some Magnum ammo and explosives. And this leads to the other area I brought up, how that wraps kind of back this way. Where you can get the SMG and explosives, like AR grenades. And you can also get the rocket launcher here. So remember what I said. Don't hang around too much because you're probably going to have that happen to you. Um, but anyway, anyway. And by the way, um, not all of these, but on the other part of the map, you can like, you know, you use the god jump of the barnacle. Like these little spots here. That you can actually hang up out here. But you can't hide, as you, as, you, as you can see. Someone's probably gonna notice you. Also, the text string's all fucked. I'll show you what I mean. Like, this isn't the first game that I've seen that happen in, but it reminds me a lot of, like, Mario 64. Where, you know... You, you can see you, you can see it through the bottom. This was probably intentional, just so you can see what's going on. But it still bugs me. It's like, look, it just doesn't look right. IT DOESN'T LOOK RIGHT! Anyway. So yeah, you can get up to there with either the gauze or the barnacle if you want. Um, but let's go this way real quick. This is the only area that doesn't particularly lead to any other spot. I say that, but it actually does lead to the barnacle. But it just doesn't wrap around like the other ways do. This is kind of the break to the flow. Although, obviously you can jump down and if the server's got low, like, you know, normal fall damage on, you're not going to get too hurt from doing that. You don't need the long jump to get onto the top of these things here, by the way. You can totally do that with just the basic jump. If you do from, if you go from this one to this one, I can, I'll show you. And I fuck! Let's try again. Yeah, you just gotta get a little bit of a run there, but yeah, that's totally, totally doable. And yeah, now I got the barnacle, so obviously now I can take advantage of the barnacle spots here. I didn't really need to mention that. Take advantage of this one, too. This is the one I forget about all the time, but there's actually... And you can, as you can see, you don't have to actually, like, you know, obviously you can shoot through these with, like, most weapons, but you can actually grab onto them in between that too. There's not much point to do that, but it definitely helps if you're in a, like the heat of the moment and you want to try to get up there. But anyway, let's talk about the final little area now, which you can get to either by, you know, barnacling, because now that you have the barnacle, or you can come back this way, and there's some goodies up in this little area too. There's the, uh, obviously, there's these little ledges here, where if you want, you think someone's coming this way you want to hide from them, you can try to do that. Uh, there is a shotgun here. Good time guaranteed for all and finally, there's this spot here with the displacer. I don't need to tell you that, obviously, if you see a bunch of fools hanging around down here, and you start firing at them, you're probably going to cause them some great pain. It's just, I love this map for, like, you just, just opportunities for mischief and stuff like that. Anyway, come back this way. There isn't actually any weapon up here. Just another way to get back up or down. Or if you have the barnacle, you can actually get up from here. You might have to long jump. I don't think you can make that jump without just because of the way the roof is, yeah. I actually definitely think you need the long jump, but if you're if you're fucking around with the barnacle and the, like, you know, this area anyway, there's a good chance you already have the long jump. And yeah, that's basically this map. It's not the most, like, you know, like, you know, the largest map here, but it, uh, there's a, it's a lot more compact, but dense, because there's a lot of different little areas in this little, bit, like, building here. I still can't figure out why the hell it's called Rubble, but, you know, that's just not important. Definitely play this one. I think this honestly is my favorite, like, you know, Opposing fourth deathmatch map. How did that guy? How did like you know super sized data bot? How did he the fucking survive that grenade? All he got like he got he got like thrown in the air and that's about it. That was a defective. I have defective grenades. I gotta call the manufacturer and bitch about it. Oh, but that made it all worth. Oh, I love this thing. Oh, is it you? How dare you, Neckork? How da damn it! REVENGE! Oh, I think that was a headshot. I love it. Christmas is cancelled this year. It's funny because wasn't this the map that I ended, like, you know, I gave up on the map series last time? I, I'm pretty sure this was it. I, I need to go back, but I'm almost 100% sure it was like late July or something. And after this, I don't know... I can't quite explain the circumstances for why the map series died the first time. It's a lot of personal stuff and like, you know, other things going on in my life. Like, nothing terrible. But, you know, I was just overwhelmed with, like, you know, stupid personal projects that, you know, never got finished and, like, something had to go. Yeah. The, there was no reason for me to bring this up. Maybe I just wanted pity points. Who knows? I need to tell you that the sniper rifle can be an absolute god in this map. I mean, it mostly is in every map it's in, but, you know, especially this one.
Oh my god. Which side? Which side? Maybe no side. I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna bring the heat. Ah, oh, damn it, particle! Come on, I gotta redeem myself here. Come on, redemption? Is it gonna be redemption? It better be redemption. No, I think they already walked away. Damn it! Hey! I seriously missed that? You fool! Okay, I guess JK Body just doesn't know how to j crouch jump anymore. At least in that area, because I've seen the bots do that. I've totally seen them, like, you know, navigate around, like, you know... You know, like, you jump into vents and stuff like that, so I don't know what's going on here. Oh! Oh, that was a double kill! Take this! I think I was the only one who actually died from that shot, but oh well. It was very important I did that. I guess he was in detention time or something because he just went in the corner. What are you looking at? It's a bad idea! It's a bad idea! I'm stuck! Yeah, get in the corner! Get in the corner! Slow down! There's slow down! There was lag! I think the video disrupted! Die! Die! I don't know anything! Oi! Oh yeah, I forgot about the shock trooper entirely. It's up there, and there's no water in this map, so it's pointless! Also, the bots always walk past the displacer here, and I'm not sure why at all. Don't run away. Accept it! Yeah! So yeah, Rubble. I love this map. Definitely play this one. It'll put hair on your chest.